All right, well, I'm not gonna pause the boss fight to go watch the Fae trailer, but I'll refresh my thing real quick just to see who it is. Oh, well, <laughs> don't tell me anything about the skills yet. We'll we'll deal with that later. <laughs> This is happening now. Oh boy. <laughs> is she, uh, so what kind of mythic is she? I missed it. Is she dark? That would make the most sense. I, mean, I guess she could be anima too. I don't know. I am death itself. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, she's dark, huh. I think that's our fifth dark hero, right? To be fair to Nimbora, he did call this. And I... So my thing is, I didn't think they would ever add hell at all. Because, if they kept her weapon text the same as it was in the story, then you literally... If you give her a Mystic Boost, then you literally can't kill her unless you use a skill like Poison Strike or Savage Blow or um, an AoE Special. Because the way her weapon works, or I guess we can check it now, yeah. If foe does- oh, here we go. If foe does not use Magic or Staff- did I miss that part before? I might have. If foe does not use Magic or Staff, calculate- wait, no, hold on. And if units HP above 1. And the foe would reduce units HP to zero. Units are passive one HP. Okay. So I guess it's not as bad as I remember it being. I thought that uh, if it weren't for this part with the magic or staff, you literally, like, you could just give her Mystic Boost and you wouldn't be able to kill her unless you used Poison Strike and we specials, etc. Anyway, let's let's review. <laughs> so we know she's a flyer. I didn't think they would ever add her, but here she is. I think that's defense, not res, by the way. Not that it makes a huge difference. I thought this would be an astromythic, because we only have two of those. Alright, let's ask your review now. Sorry for delaying. Hell's Reaper. XLR special trigger. Neutralizes effective against flying bonuses. If foe does not use magic or staff, calculates damage using foe's res. And if units HP above 1, and foe would reduce units HP to 0, units are passive 1 HP. So, slaying effect, Iodes, shield, and if foe does not use magic or staff. So basically, if you want to kill her, you want to use magic or staff. That's the idea. <laughs> Bram was attack. Yeah, I think you're right. And so this. I think so this is res, actually. Yeah, exactly. So she completes the the foursome of dark mythic heroes. They've only run offensive mythics on these banners. Like, they've only premiered offensive mythics on these banners twice out of, like, the ten that we've had. <laughs> they almost always do dark and uh, anima. I just think it's weird. Distant counter, guard bearing. I'm kind of surprised to see guard bearing reappear so soon. We only just got it. It's a very good skill. And Inevitable Death, which inflicts blah, minus four, on foes within two spaces during combat. Honestly, I'm fine with this, because Bram's C skill is so much worse to deal with. His uh, negates all passive buffs you're getting from your allies. Honestly, dealing with this is easier. Because <laughs> you can just use your passive buffs from your allies to, like, uh, undo it. Although, she might be a good, like, Wings of Mercy beacon, I guess. You'd have to do some kind of convoluted stuff, but you could make it so that people teleport to her. And then since you're still within two spaces of her, they get to attack you with this debuff uh, activated on you. Okay, well, she's obviously very strong. <laughs> Yeah, I genuinely, I genuinely thought they would never add her. But here she is. I think her BST is... I think she might have the highest BST of any flying melee. I could be wrong, though. 
green is fucked. Oh, yeah, let's see. Let's check out our colors. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're right. Green has Hell, Thrazer, and Edelgard. Well, damn. That is... It's very good. <laughs> I think they try to make it so that, like, the new Mythic premieres on, like, a good color. They're not gonna run uh, her with, like, I don't know. I don't want to say Flora, because Flora is not that bad, but yeah. Flora is exciting. She has Pegasus Flight, I think. Which is a skill that is hard to find a really good use for. Blue has her, Bjorn, and Tiki, so Blue's kind of bad, just gonna be honest. Uh, red has Altina, Ike, and Roy. That's okay, I suppose. And Gray has Core and Air and Leela. So green is the best, obviously. Gray is also good. Then... Uh, then... Red, then blue. Does this mean we're gonna get Freya after all? <laughs> It'd be a cool change of pace if Freya ended up being an Astra mythic instead of a, an Anima or Dark. That way you could actually use her on an offense team instead of just planting her on a defense team. I wonder if this will increase the stock in Poison Strike type skills <laughs> that can reduce her to 1 HP outside of battle. Also, she has really good fodder. You could give off um, this encounter and guard bearing at the same time. Yo, she's perfect Ashnard fodder. I'm just saying. <laughs> if you want to build an Ashnard, you could you could do this. Although his B skill is, I mean, you could just give him quick repost, and that would also be really good. So guard bearing's just kind of a flex, honestly, on Ashnard. I'm definitely gonna pull green. I may even spend an orb or two on my first circle if I get more than one green orb. Yeah, green has Hell, it has Thracer, Thracer has Panic Smoke if you want it, Edelgard is ridiculous, obviously. Alright, I will let you guys go. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> and uh, I'll try to be back. Actually, I can't stream tomorrow, probably, so hopefully Thursday we'll be back with Paper Mario.